I don't know if we can be bothered dressing up for this street party. I'm toying with Cheryl Cole. Really? Massive hair, stupid shoes, too much makeup. Bob's your uncle. Hey, we all could go as girls allowed. I could go as the one who's always getting bladdered. <laughs> I could be Kimberly. Yeah, go on, back to Nicola. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Do you fancy going as the Irish one from Girls Aloud? Uh, not really, no. Oh, come on, spoil sport. You're gonna make me, make me love you. Nothing, nothing at all, all, nothing that I do. Promise I may, promise I may. Starting to fade, starting to fade. What's going on here? Uh, we were just having a little sing song. I don't want to hear it. We're one machine is down. So I suggest you put all your energies into your fingers, not into your lungs, all right? Oh, I should be following Eileen down to that job centre. I'm in cheek. If she hadn't sacked Eileen, we wouldn't be behind at all. Yes, well, I wouldn't push it if I were you. She's really not in the mood. Can you gather that? She can't just sack someone on a whim and expect everyone else to pick up the slack. Why don't you point that out to her? See how you get on. Uh, is that first lot gone, then? We're just waiting on two more boxes. What is this? Go slow. Well, this is our dinner break, but we have gone as fast as we can, Mrs Connor. Well, that's not good enough. I'm sorry, I just don't see how you can expect the same volume of work if you sat to machinist. Of course the order's going to be behind. Is there a problem in packing? No. Oh, good. And keep it shut, love. Leave the business to the grown-ups, eh? Just pointing out the obvious. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that what you were doing? Let me do the same, then, you see. My job is to run this place, and your job is to put these pants in this box. So let's stick to what we're best at, eh? Is that obvious enough for you? Hmm? Back on the dot, yeah? Yep. Blimey, you've got some ball. Come on, pub. <laughs> We need to talk about Eileen. We've talked about Eileen. No, you have, Mrs Connor. Well, he who pays the piper, is he? Yeah, exactly. Now, please just get back to your machines and start banging some tunes out. Are you going to reinstate her or not? Look, Carla, it was just a misunderstanding. There's no need for us all to fall out. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll count to three, and if you're not all stitching knickers by the time I finish, then I... stitching nothing. Till Eileen gets a job back. You what? We're going on strike. <laughs> oh, 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 really? Oh, I'd seriously reconsider that, girls. You know, all mobs can turn ugly, but really, you've got nowhere to go. <laughs> Please, spare us the cheap shots. We're walking. Oh, come on, girls. There's no need to overreact. No, no, let them go. But you know, if you walk out that door, you shut it behind you and it stays shut. There's no coming back. Well, that's a chance we'll have to take. Good luck with the order. No, that's no use to me, is it? I need machinists here by tomorrow morning. Because I told you we've got a big order to fill. Well, there must be somebody. I mean, there's meant to be a reception. Not half as sorry as I am. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey, love. Right, okay. Where's all your, um, right. well, uh, your stuff? Thanks, I don't know and I don't care. Are you done with them ungrateful beggars? No joy, I'm afraid. <coughs> well, what's, uh, what's happened? The peasants are revolting. They've walked out on us, haven't they? Left us in the lurch. Yeah? Why have they done that? They sat down in yesterday. Oh, well, you never said anything to me. Well, do you tell me when there's the steward's inquiry at Funwell? <laughs> it's my business. What do you care? Of course I care. I mean, how are you going to shift that order if you've got no staff? Oh, we'll just have to keep phoning around the agencies, yeah. won't we? There are plenty of machinists out there. Oh. Yes, there are, love, but you need them here now. Look, did you, um... Did you sack Eileen because of this business with the funeral? I told you, I sacked her because she was the reason we missed the first deadline. Yeah, I know, but... Even so, it's a funeral. Listen, she didn't ask me. She just walked out and left me in the lurch. I can't have people doing that on me. She's had a lot on her plate lately. So have I. Yeah, and if the truth be told, that's probably why things have got this far. I think you might have taken things out on Eileen, you know, just overreacting. No! No way! No, I needed to make an example of her, and the same goes for the rest of them. Look, no, they made the bets. Shooting villagers never works, especially when you're dependent on them. You know, and then bits of our lives that we can control, we need to keep on track for sanity's sake. So what are you suggesting? Well, 
If I know your girls will be in the Rovers, I think we should go over there, we should have a peace talk before this gets completely out of hand. Oh. 